of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, you shall be my witnesses jesus is telling every one of us the one mission the one message we have to the whole world is the message of evangelization to tell the whole world that jesus is the savior the salvation we have experienced from the Lord. We need to proclaim from the housetop that the whole world may know that Jesus is the Savior of the humankind. Let's keep our hands open in front of us. Let us ask God's pardon for being so lethargic about this mission that we have to bear witness to the Lord. And let us tell Jesus we shall be earnest in proclaiming the Lord as the joy of living. Let us confess together. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Turn it all to your glory, O oh God. We make this prayer through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. First reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter, chapter 1, verses 13 to 16 and 22 to 25. Therefore, gird up the lines of your mind, live soberly, and set your hopes completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Like obedient children, do not act in compliance with the desires of your former ignorance. But as he who called you is holy, 
Be holy yourself in every aspect of your conduct, for it is written, Be holy, because I am holy. Since you have purified yourselves by obedience to the truth for sincere mutual love, love one another intensely from a pure heart. You have been born anew, not from perishable, but from imperishable seed, through the living and abiding word of God. For all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flower of the field. The grass withers, and the flower wills, but the word of the Lord remains forever. This is the word that has been proclaimed to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us rise for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Chapter 7, verses 21 to 24. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not drive out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty works in your name? Then I will declare to them solemnly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evil doers. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine, but does not act on them, will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, let us offer our life in the hands of our God. We are proceeding to the offer tree. From this day on, our life belongs to the Lord. 
and we are there for god to speak to our hearts for god to guide us for god to comfort us for god to enable us to rejoice all the time in our life all the time in the word of god and therefore let us surrender our lives with the prayer of mother mary here am i your servant your handmaid let it be done to me according to your word let us sing together this offer to him here i stand at your throne here before you in your presence my lord there is nothing gold i could give you that is fit for a king i bring to you my pain my sorrow you and all i'll be home i know acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all the holy church o god we offer to you our life our life to be filled with the joy of your word accept our life anoint our life with the power of your word that we may always be able to rejoice in your word in your presence we make this prayer through the same jesus christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit lift up your heart we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it, it is, is right and, and just. just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim commanding us to make this offering as his memorial as we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us we are made strong as we drink his blood that was poured out for us we are washed clean and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven as we sing the hymn of your glory without end we acclaim
you are indeed holy o lord the fount of full holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim the death of God and proclaim your as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope cardinal george our bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god our mighty father in the unity of the holy spirit All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
with the confidence of the children let's pray to our heavenly father in the words our savior told us our, our father, father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, heaven. give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord be always with you and with your spirit and suffer each other a sign of peace and love lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord, lord and i'm not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under my, my roof but only, only say the, the word and my, my soul shall be healed
Heavenly Father, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son. Hold us close to your heart. Never allow us to be parted from you. We make this prayer through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.